Pan. I'm Manu Acharya. I'm the founder and CEO of MapMyGenome. The purpose of this video today is to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about our new product called Genome Patri Immunity. Now, ever since we launched Genome Patri Immunity, we've been receiving many inquiries about the product through Facebook, Instagram, and other channels. Our customers who have received a free personalized Genome Patri Immunity report also had some questions. So while our executives have been busy responding promptly to all inquiries, I wanted to respond to some frequently asked questions through this video. So the first question is, why do we need Genome Patri Immunity? We follow social distancing, we wear a mask, we wash our hands a gazillion times, and why do we need a report? Well, the answer is simple. These are measures to avoid exposure to the virus. What happens when we are exposed to COVID? And it's not so difficult to get exposed because about 70 to 80 percent of the people are asymptomatic. So our immune system, our immune response can make all the difference. It can fight the infectious agent and it can protect us. And in case of an infection, it can help us in continuing to fight with the causative agent. So my team has studied 700,000 genetic markers in more than 4,000 Indian samples with their consent. And they have found out that one in five Indians has a high risk for the SARS, which is very similar in terms of the, in the same family of uh, disease as the COVID. And five in 1,000 Indians are likely to be extremely vulnerable to, to effects like the cytokine storm in COVID. So the good news is that we can work on improving our immune system. The bad news is that it doesn't happen in a day. It takes a dedicated and mindful effort. It takes self-knowledge, which we provide. To put it in simple terms, Genome Patri Immunity can help you in building your immune system to fight COVID and other infectious diseases but it goes beyond infectious disease as well. If you look at the overall scope of what we do in Genome Patri, we cover more than 100 different conditions. So another question is, I've already tested negative for COVID. Why should I spend on another test? Well, the answer is simple. COVID diagnostic tests only tell you whether you have an active infection at that time. Our test, on the other hand, tells you about your genetic predisposition to immunity. This is a completely different kind of test because you're basically looking at your own set of markers that you're born with and we're looking at it and saying whether you are likely to have predisposition to something. And this is something that you do only once in your lifetime. You don't have to keep repeating it. Okay. So the next question is that there is a good reason to learn about the genetic risk of COVID. Why? the other conditions. I got my sugar levels checked regularly. I, never, I have never even heard of diseases such as psoriasis and lupus. So why so many conditions? Well, if you look at COVID as a disease, there are many different factors that play into you know, the severity of disease, the risk of catching the disease and so on. Some of it include age, comorbidities, nutrients and so on. Now, what we are doing uh, in including these conditions such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease and autoimmune conditions is because they are what we call as the comorbidities for COVID. That means if you are susceptible to them or if you have those conditions, you are more likely to be at risk for COVID as well. So these increase the risk of infection and they also the severity of the symptoms that are likely to be amongst the infected people. Some of these are silent conditions which means that we often do not know until we are diagnosed. So by analyzing the genetic risk, we can help you improve your self-awareness and watch out for potential red flags. All right, the next question is more about, so what about the vitamin levels and zinc? It's not a drug. Um, well, vitamin and zinc, zinc are essential for good functioning of the immune system. We all absorb them through food or supplements. Our genes have a role to play in absorption, storage, and metabolism of these nutrients. So what our report does is basically help you identify if you need additional care or increased dietary intake of supplements when it comes to these essential nutrients to improve your immune system. Next question. Now that the lockdown is likely to end and more and more of us are stepping out of our homes, do you think we need this test? 
Well, answer is that yes. And especially now, when our chances to exposure to COVID are likely to spike. It is time to focus on imp improving immunity with the right prevention strategy. Okay, the next question is, everybody seems to be selling something about COVID. How is your test any different? Well, as I said before, our test goes much beyond COVID. It is about building immunity. And thanks to COVID, it has become important that we build immunity. You owe it to yourself and your family to build a strong immune system. It not just prevents you against COVID, but many other possible infections and other lifestyle related diseases that are likely to, and it's likely to help you fight against many such foreign pathogens and others. So the next question is, so how do I know it's authentic? Well, we were the first to introduce the concept of personal genomics in India. My team comprises of experts with nearly 20 years of experience in genomics. Every genetic marker that they choose is selected after thorough literature and also by looking at our own databases and our own um, reference databases that we have. And we use internationally recognized te technology to generate the data and with the accuracy of 995 to 99.8%. Okay, the next question is, I don't want to step out of my home. How can I take this test? Well, the good news is that you don't have to step out of your homes. Our delivery partners offer contactless delivery. If you want to keep a kit aside for three to four days, that's fine too. Our kit is fine for about a month. So once you feel it is safe to use the kit to collect a sample, you can do so. If you have any questions about the sample collection, you can call us on 1-800-102-4595. On we are here to help. Once you've collected your sample, we will arrange for contactless pickup as well. Okay, the next question is, coming to results, what does baseline risk for COVID mean? Should I not worry about COVID? Sadly, you still have to. We always remember that genetics is just one of the factors that affect our immune system. Even lifestyle factors such as sleep and exercise have their role to play, as does age. Baseline risk means that your genes are in your favor that they all work towards preventing the infection. However, age, lifestyle, presence of certain health conditions, viral load, exposure, mutation of the genome, the viral genome are some of the other factors. Next question is, uh, so why does this not come with genetic counseling? Well, we provide recommendations in the report for those with genetic risk. So you do get a set of recommendations on what you need to do. Uh, for a full-fledged genetic rec genetic counseling report, you can always get the genome path report. So the next question is, what does slightly reduced vitamin D level mean? <clears throat> well, your nutritionist may recommend a supplement to ensure the optimum vitamin D levels. There are foods which are rich in vitamin D and foods that improve your vitamin D absorption from diet. Sunlight is the best source of vitamin D soak up some sunlight by spending a few minutes a day in the balcony, terrace or garden. <clears throat> Next question is, I have a high risk for hypertension. Should I worry about that now? Well, worry is not good for anything because stress is actually a major contributor to a lot of conditions. So stop worrying, period. Dietary interventions and life, healthy lifestyle can help mitigate the risk. So continue to see your doctor and taking your medications as you should. So the question is, um, what will you do with my DNA? Will you use it for COVID research? Well, the answer is that if you consent for uh, using your DNA for research, we will de-identify the data and use it. However, our secure limb system makes sure that your confidential data remains confidential. So as we co learn to coexist with an infectious agent that has caused unprecedented havoc across the globe, we have a choice to make. We have to prepare ourselves for a fight to stop the spread of infection or not. Let us all work together to improve the, our immune system. We owe it to ourselves and the generations to come. So stay safe, wear a mask, and continue the social distancing measures. Thank you so much.